Well, Doctor, you've done it again. Not only have you managed to locate the cheapest microwave spaghetti right here in Montreal that doesn't contain gluten, and not only have you managed to successfully open a new apple orchard right here in Toronto, but now that we're in Vancouver, we're able to safely confirm that the Loch Ness Monster is a false entity. Anyway, let's just tell the people why we're here and we can be on our way. Thank you for that moronic introduction. Greetings, Earthlings. It is I, the smartest man alive you've probably seen on programs such as Volume Television and Adrian Williams's Barbecues Around the World. I don't have time to waste explaining why I'm here. All I'm here to say is that I've managed to the role as the lockout general manager after surpassing several other inferior candidates. Expect nothing from me, but I will demand greatness from the rest of you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WXPW Monday Night Lockout. It has been a very long time since we have been here in front of a crowd for Monday Night Lockout. But tonight, we finally return. For those who didn't watch the most recent WXPW pay-per-view hyperdrive, plenty of things happened. Plenty of new champions were crowned. And tonight, it all comes down. Now it is time to get into the first matchup of the night, where Ace Watson looks to come back following a loss from V-Kid at Hyperdrive. Making his way to the ring first. This man making his WXPW debut. He is... He is Kendrick Montana. Kendrick Montana, a member of the Black Lotus, looks to come into WXPW here tonight, making his official debut, and looks to take on Ace Watson. Now what a win this could be for Kendrick Montana if he can defeat Ace Watson in his debut. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is a stacked show. People like V-Kid will be defending his WXPW Universal Championship against the technical nightmare, Jaden Coleman. And Jalen Garcia, the WXPW TV Champion, will be holding an open challenge. And then of course the main event of the night, Al Walker will be celebrating his new hardcore title win. Now Kendrick Montana is looking for a win. His opponent, Ace Watson, will be looking for a win tonight. Both men will be ready. And making his way to the ring, he is the dream god. He is. Ace Watson. Now Ace Watson had an incredible match against V-Kid at WXPW Hyperdrive. But unfortunately, due to distractions by Heather Ray and a low blow by V-Kid, Ace had no other choice but to tap out to the triangle choke. Ace comes in here tonight looking to redeem himself. Looking to redeem the championship match that he had lost. And we will see... What these two men have in store for us tonight. Ace Watson is getting into the ring now. Kendrick Montana getting ready. These two men are bound to have 
one crazy match. You got Kendrick Montana, a technical wrestler, and then you have Ace Watson, just an all-around balanced wrestler. Kendrick Montana's ready, Ace is ready, these two men are on the way now. Ace starting off with a backhand into a headbutt to start this match off. Ace now big knee to the face of Kendrick Montana and he is hyped right up. Reversal by Kendrick. As now Ace looks to put Kendrick Montana up against the ropes, Robo there by Montana punches now by Kendrick. Reversal by Ace. Throwing Ace into the corner and a knee, but a reversal by Ace. Ace now. Kendrick in hands, throwing him into the corner. Kick there. Off the ropes. Into another kick. Just like that. Ace now looking for these forearms to the back of the head. Ace with a scent on right there. Looking now off the ropes into a moonsault off those ropes there. The Kendrick Montana into the cover for the win. And a kick out at one by Kendrick Montana. Also tonight, we will be crowning new WXPW Tag Team Champions. It'll be the Yellow Tape Club, Mondo Montana and Unfazed Blaze taking on the FCA of Cohen Nitro and Max Stevens and a big kick by Kendrick into the cover. Two and a kick out by Ace at two and a half there. This match off to a strong start early on. Reversal there by Ace Watson. Lifting Kendrick up. Ace looking to throw Kendrick into the corner. What's he looking for now? Big forearm to Kendrick Montana. Doesn't seem to be finished looking. Big knee into the cover for the win. One and a kick out at one by Kendrick Montana. Ace now, big, oh my god. You're an Augie of some sort into the cover is Ace. Kick out at two by Kendrick Montana. Ace Watson now. Looking. Big move there by Ace Watson. Ace is hyped up. Ace is hyping himself and the crowd up. Ace now taking this stuff off the announce desk. Off of our commentary booth. Kendrick though. Just to throw Ace back into the ring, but Ace does it himself. As Ace now looking for a Dragon Sleeper, locked in. And Kendrick Montana, he might fade, but he fights out of it relatively quickly. Kendrick now has Ace in hands. Big knee to the face of Ace Watson by Kendrick Montana there. Forearm by Ace, slapped by Kendrick. Punch by Ace. Reversal by Ace. These two starting to go back and forth in this matchup to kick off the night. Still both men throwing punches. Ace now into the headbutt again. My God. Ace looking for 1916 to Kendrick Montana. Going to the top now is Ace Watson. Reversal by Kendrick though. Ace was looking for the frog splash. Reversal by Ace though, ducking under for the knee. Super kick by Ace Watson. My God. Ace now perhaps signaling for the end. But a reversal there by Kendrick Montana. 
Reversal by Ace, just moving out of the way. Punch by Ace. Ace now. Looking for a spinning suplex there to Kendrick Montana as Ace climbs to the top. One more time and a frog splash into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half by Kendrick Montana. As Ace now just stomping off on Kendrick Montana. Throwing off the ropes into the moonsault. Once more into the cover again. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half again by Kendrick Montana. What a match this is so far to kick off the night as Ace is climbing to the top and Ace is looking for a frog splash. My God, on the outside. Ace now. We're gonna throw Kendrick back into the ring, but Kendrick does it himself this time. Kendrick now, big drop kick to Ace Watson. Reversal by Ace, super kick by Ace. Now, Ace, looking for that. 1916 with a reversal by Kendrick. Knees to the face now by Kendrick Montana. Kendrick now, looking for a big forearm to the back of the neck of Ace Watson, blocking Ace from rolling out of the ring. Now, looking for an elbow or forearm to the chest. Ace though, just slamming his shoulder down onto the mat. Ace now, reversal by Kendrick. Ace, reversal by himself. Back in there. Kick by Ace. Reversal by Kendrick. Kick by Kendrick. Then two. A ripcord Spanish fly. My goodness. Kendrick now. Doesn't matter. Ace just throws him off. Kick by Ace. What is Ace looking to go for here as he throws him in the corner? Oh God. What is Ace looking to do here? Looking for, was looking for a Samoan drop, but a reversal by Kendrick, doesn't matter. Kendrick, reversal by Ace, kick to the back there. Locking it in now, the guillotine is locked in on Kendrick Montana. Kendrick trying to fight out of it, but he cannot. Ace Watson taps out Kendrick Montana for the win here tonight. What a debut for Kendrick Montana and what a match for both men. Ace Watson redeemed himself from the loss at Hyperdrive. Tapping out Kendrick with the guillotine. Huge congrats to Ace Watson here tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will hear from the newly crowned WXPW World Champion, Andrew Kazarian. Ladies and gentlemen of WXPW, welcome to the Kaz Show. You know, I'm going to make this short and sweet because I know we have a runtime and I know damn well a lot of people don't want to hear me right now, but y'all will. A lot of you motherfuckers doubted me. A lot of y'all thought Cam was going to win the WXPW World Heavyweight Championship, but no, no, no. I am now the WXBW World Heavyweight Champion. And as vague as I can call it, I told you so. I told everybody that I will beat Cam and I will be 
the world champion, but no one listened. Everyone let their mind get to them and instantly thought that Cam would win. But seems like y'all fucking dreams ended up crumbling down after I hit him with the colliding hematoma and the COD. Now, I'm going to let this be known very fast. I will defend this title day in and day out, whether it's on WXPW or hell, whether it's in other companies. I will defend it whenever, wherever, against whoever. So if anyone actually has the balls enough to actually step up, I'm here. I'm here to work. And if you don't want to, then get the fuck out of my way. Recognize that, pussies. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another two men that both lost at WXPW Hyperdrive, Marty Morton and Brandon Kirk to take each other on. Marty Morton, who lost in quick fashion to Duncan Riley, looks to redeem himself tonight against Brandon Kirk. Looks to show up tonight to beat and defeat Brandon Kirk. Ooh, that rhyme. Marty is ready. Marty is hyped. Marty will fight. Now, making his way to the ring, Brandon Kirk. Brandon Kirk kicked off the night for WXPW Hyperdrive, taking on Isaac Luther inside of a hell in a cell. And though he beat the living shit out of Isaac, he still did not come out on top. Brandon looks to redeem himself here and defeat Marty Morton as Marty Morton looks to do the same to Brandon Kirk. Who comes out on top here tonight? As now both of these men are ready, Brandon, reversal by Marty though. Brandon was looking to start off this match strong. Marty, big splash there to Brandon Kirk into the cover and not even a one count. There is a big and obvious size difference here tonight. As Marty looks to topple the giant of Brandon Kirk. Marty now, punch there to Brandon. Kick by Brandon, punch by Brandon. Brandon now, huge suplex to Marty Morton. As he now kicked to the back of Marty. Brandon starting this match off. Relatively strong knee to the back now. Again, just looking to target the leg of Marty Morton. Here tonight, you've got to think that both of these men are really, really frustrated. But Brandon now 
looking for a very odd submission that could probably break Marty's back. As Marty with a sidewalk slam there. Marty misses with a punch to Brandon now. Chopped by Brandon. Punched by Marty. These two men starting to go back at it. Reversals by Brandon. Brandon seems to be getting the upper hand here. Now looking for these gut punches. And an uppercut. My God. As now, Brandon from the top. What is this motherfucker thinking? Holy shit. Looking double knees for Marty Morton. My God. Holy shit. What a maneuver by Brandon Kirk. I didn't even know a man his size could do that. As now, Brandon lifting Marty up. And power bombs him on the apron. My God. Brandon is putting Marty through hell to start this match off. Marty getting back into the ring now. Looking for... Big chop there to Brandon Kirk onto his chest and another splash by Marty Morton as Brandon is still getting back up. Marty big kick to the face of Brandon Kirk here. Looking for a kick to the back now. Into a senton to the back of Brandon. My God. As Marty now looking to, looking to mess up his arm here. And Brandon rolls to the outside. Smart maneuver there by Brandon Kirk and a big clothesline by Marty Morton. As Marty gets back in the ring waiting for Brandon now. Throwing Brandon in the corner, big splash by Marty. Oh my God. Marty now chokes him to Brandon. Holy shit! Look at the strength of Marty and not even a count of one. Jesus. Kick to the back of Brandon Kirk. Reversal by Brandon. Now into the cover. One. And a kick out at one and a half by Marty Morton. Brandon now lifting up Marty. No reversals now by Marty. Doesn't matter what Brandon was going for. Marty looking for a huge power slam into the cover for the win. One and a kick out at one by Brandon Kirk. My God. Marty is still looking for the first two count of this match into an elbow drop into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two by Brandon Kirk. At least we finally have a count of two. Marty now, kick to the back of Kirk again. Throws Brandon into the corner, looking for another splash, but a reversal by Brandon, kick to the face. Brandon gets reversed by Marty into a clothesline by Brandon. Might as well have just ripped Marty in half. Two and a kick out at two and a half by Brandon Kirk or by Marty Morton. My bad. Brandon now lifting Marty up. Doesn't matter. Reversals by Marty Morton now. Reversal by Brandon. As he looks to throw Marty into the corner. But Marty, big Samoan draw. Marty is showing off his strength here tonight. Marty now looking to take the stuff off the announce desk. Will it be used this match? Marty looks to throw Brandon out, but Marty gets thrown out himself. As Marty now just waiting for Brandon to get out. As Brandon gets back in the ring. And Brandon looks 
for a huge suicide dive, but does not connect. Marty now punches to Brandon. Throwing Brandon into that desk. And Brandon gets reversed by Marty. Marty now putting Brandon onto the desk. Oh God, what is he gonna look for? Marty, what is he gonna do? Oh my God. Huge frog splash by Marty Morton. Holy shit. Marty getting Brandon back into the ring. Into the cover now for the win. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half by Brandon Kirk. Marty has to be thinking of options to put Brandon away. Now choke slam again. Marty. Can't even see what he's doing because of how big Brandon is, but a huge reversal by Brandon. This match is still going. What a match here tonight. As Marty with the elbows. Looking now, punch there. And again, gonna look for another power slam. My goodness. Marty, can he redeem himself? Can he get the win? Huge clothesline. One, two, three. What a win. What a performance. And what a show of strength it was here tonight by Marty Morton. As Brandon Kirk has lost yet another match. Marty redeeming himself from the loss against Duncan Riley. And you have to think, what is next for Brandon Kirk following this loss? Huge congrats to Marty Morton. Well now ladies and gentlemen, we are going to find a new number one contender for the WXPW Women's World Champion. It'll be Lily Knight taking on Dallas Lee. Lily Knight making her official debut here in WXPW. As she looks to become the number one contender for Heather Ray's World Championship. Who comes out on top here tonight? Lily in the ring and ready for her opponent Dallas Lee here tonight. As Dallas Lee making her debut as well. Also they may have made their debut before but it has also been seven months since we have had a show. So I do not remember. As Dallas Lee makes her way to the ring now. And we all know how much Dallas Lee likes Heather Ray and V Kid. She don't.
Lily Knight, Dallas Lee, number one contendership on the line. As Lily gets taken down, Dallas starting this match off strong. Look at that target the arm here and bring Lily down to the mat. Dallas rolling away. Big forearm there by Lily Knight. Lily, reversal by Dallas. Punch by Dallas. Throwing Knight into the corner, into a double knees there. Into a big kick by Dallas Lee, not finished. Double knees again. Off the ropes, into a moonsault, and into the cover to start this match off. And a kick out at two and a half to start this match off. Dallas Lee had a strong start by Lily Knight. Looks to regain it. Reversal by Dallas. Throwing Lily onto the ropes. Reversal by Lily though, just throwing Dallas off. Big move there. As Lily Knight in the crossbody forearm. Oh my God. This match off to a very strong start. Big elbows there by Dallas Lee. Now just had Lily in hands, but Lily getting out of the hold. As she looks to throw Dallas into the, never mind. As Dallas throws Lily onto the barricade there and an uppercut. Doesn't seem to be finished. That's just throwing her body into the barricade. My God. Dallas throwing Lily back into the ring. On the top now into a swanton bomb to the back of Lily Knight. Into the cover, one, two, and a kick out at two by Lily Knight. Dallas now just going off with the punches to Lily here. Big forearm again to the forehead of Dallas Lee. Lily Knight looking for a big face buster. Lily Knight lifting Dallas up into a super kick. As she climbs to the top rope now. Into a light drop. Jesus Christ, into the cover now for the win. One, two, and a kick out at two by Dallas Lee. Lily Knight. What is she looking for? Misses her maneuver there. As she throws Dallas into the corner. What is she looking to set Dallas up for? Oh God. Show oh God. Into the big stomp to Dallas Lee. Taking her down and she rolls to the ropes. She ropes there. Reversal by Dallas though. Now... Big move there. Kick by reversal by Lily into the clothesline. Reversal by Dallas. Dallas now looking for a roll up to win against Lily. One and a kick out of one by Lily Knight. Punches by both women now. Slap by Lily. Punch by Dallas. Slap by Lily, punch by Dallas, on and on again. These women both trying to prove why they deserve to be number one contender. Lily off the ropes and a moonsault there. Dallas though catching Lily, punch her down and bashing her with forearms. Oh God, not finished now. Submission hold locked in on Lily Knight. Lily Knight though, fighting out of the submission, dragging Dallas under the mat. Lily now, was looking for a maneuver, but Dallas moved out of the way. Dallas Lee now with the kicks and the clothesline to Lily Knight. 
Reversal there by Lily. Lily now throws Dallas down on the mat. Lily rolls to the outside. Dallas Lee waiting for Lily to get back into the ring, to get back into the match. As Lily finally gets back in, punch by Dallas, kick by Dallas. Bring Lily into the corner. Oh, what is she looking for? Huge hurricane run off the top. What a maneuver by Dallas Lee into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two by Lily Knight. Dallas now gets reversed by Lily. Lily gets jumped by Dallas looking with these punches here. My God. Lily off the ropes into a kick. Signaling for Dallas to get back up and another kick but a reversal by Dallas Lee rolling out of the way and drops the on her face. Holy shit. Dallas now looking for the kicks to Lily Knight. And one more for the count. On the top now, into the Swanton Bomb. Again, cover, one, two, and a kick out at two and a half. What a match so far. Both these women proving why they deserve to be number one contender. As Dallas now, submission hold, locked in one more time. As yet another submission Lily Knight has gotten out of. Lily now looking for a neck breaker on Dallas Lee into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two by Dallas Lee. Lily. Lifting Dallas to her feet. Rolling her down again. Reversal by Lily. Oh my god, big stomp by Lily Knight. As Dallas rolls to the outside, taking the smart way out. And... And Lily Knight misses the suicide dive. As now with a famous sir. To Dallas Lee. What a match this is tonight. As now Lily gets thrown into the ring balls. There. <sighs> Lily Knight back up to her feet. Getting back into the ring. Punch by Dallas. Another punch. Kick by Dallas now going off on Lily Knight and a knee to the face. And a knee there to the leg of Lily Knight and a kick. Dallas Lee just going off on Lily. Lily now. Reversal by Lily Knight. As Lily looking for the knee again but misses. Dallas looking. Kick there to the midsection. Big double axe handles. Lifting up Lily Knight. And again, looking for the submission. Will she tap? Is this it? Yes, it is. What a win by Dallas Lee. And she is the new number one contender for the WXPW. What the fuck? Lights are out. And oh my God. 
It's Heather Ray, big knee to the face of Dallas Lee as she lifts up Dallas. Throwing her to the outside, Heather. She wasn't expected to show up tonight to the main event with V-Kid, but now has Dallas up looking for a huge apron power bomb. Oh my god. Heather just taunting away at the crowd as she has a new number one contender. I'm not going to drag this out. I lost. That's all I can say there. Andrew Kaz was the better man that night. I lost. The only thing I can do is hold my head high and say that I fought like hell multiple occasions. But that's not going to stop me. A little loss is not going to stop me from getting what I want. And that is the World Championship. So best believe I will be coming back to take it. Because, Andrew, you might hold it right now, but it is not your destiny to hold the title. It is mine. But it doesn't matter. Because now all I need to do is worry about running through everyone, taking everyone to hell and back. And every single time that I do, it will be a message sent to Andrew Kaz. So, for everyone on the WXPW roster, you all will be, a, be put on a taster by the Star City Superhuman. So be fucking careful. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time that we crown some new WXPW Tag Team Champions. Now the former WXPW World Tag Team Champions, the revolutionaries are no longer around. So we took the two best teams between the Yellow Tape Club and the FCA, and one of these teams will become new World Tag Team Champions. Now, these next two men making their official WXPW debut. They are Max Stevens, Cohen Nitro, FCA. FCA, of course, you all know, partnered up with the Rockheart, Al Walker, and Tyson Adams. They look to come into this group, to come into this company and win the World Tag Team titles in their debut. They look to take out the Yellow Tape Club just like that here tonight. Let's see what happens. These two men, these two teams, fighting for the WXPW World Wrestling Tag 
Team Championships. It is time. FCA the Yellow Tape Club. This match on the way now. Max Stevens starting for his team. Unfazed Blaze starting for his team. As Max starting this match off strong. Looking Piper's Pit into the cover to start this match off already. And a kick out by Unfazed Blaze. Lifting him up now, Max Stevens throws him into the corner. Chop, punch, chop, punch, going back and forth with these punches here. Telling him to get up into the centon, but a reversal there. Punch, kick, reversal by Max Stevens. It's chopped by Max. Doesn't seem to be finished. Big move there by Max Stevens into the senton. Into the cover now for the titles. One. And a kick out of one by Blaze. Max with a chop. Max with another chop. Throws Blaze into the corner. Trying to get Mondo to tag himself in. As Max now tagging in Cohen Nitro. Reversal by Cohen. Now what is he going to look to do here as he gets caught into a twist of fate. Jesus. Now he tags in Mondo Montana and a drop kick there by Cohen Nitro. Stomp to the head of Mondo. As now Cohen takes out Blaze, but Blaze, never mind, reverse by Blaze. Now Mondo just throwing him away. Into the cover now for the win. And a kick out of one by Cohen Nitro. Now Mondo, what's he going to look to do? Does it matter? Reversal by Cohen. Punch by Cohen into these forearms. Throwing Mondo into the corner, elbow and a kick to the face there. Climbing to the top rope, looking for a big frog splash into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two by Mondo Montana. Cohen now throws him into the corner. Looks to tag in Max Stevens. These two, what are they gonna look for? Max looking for a wrecking ball. Max now was looking to take out Blaze, but Blaze reverses it and now he gets taken out. FCA on top of this match right now. Max going off the ropes. Into a big tope corny low, but a reversal by Mondo Montana. Lifting up Max into the forearm. Mondo now. Reversal by Stevens. Max now just throwing Mondo back into the ring. Telling him to get up. Looking for the senton and he gets it this time. Into another senton. On the back of Mondo Montana. Looking for another senton, but a reversal now into the cover. And a kick out of one. Max with the uppercut. Max with the chop. Max now going here with some backstabbers. To Mondo Montana. Big move there by Stevens. Stevens lifting Mondo up. Looking now for a reversal by Mondo Montana. Now just jabbing the thumb into the neck of Max Stevens on and on. As he tags in Blaze. And Blaze in the hands of Max. 
What is Stevens looking for now? Into another one. Oh my God. Throws him into the, into the barricade, my bad. As Max now, what's he gonna look to do? Big knee to the face of Blaze. Throws him back into the ring. Into the cover now, for the win, for the titles, one. And a kick out of one by Blaze. Reversal by Blaze now. Max gets caught, but a reversal by Stevens. Into a roll up now for the win. And a kick out at one. Max now, just look at the strength of Stevens there to Blaze. Max now has. Blaze in hands and gets thrown in the corner and a big knee there to Max Stevens. Tagging in Mondo Montana. Into a drop kick there. What a performance by both these teams in both of their debuts as Mondo is taking both Cohen and Max out single-handedly. Looking now for the third suplex. And into the cover now. One, two, and a kick out at two by Max Stevens. Mondo now just unleashing the gut punches to Cohen Nitro. Again now with the kicks and Blaze is knocked out by Max. Cohen is fighting back on Mondo. Cohen lifting Mondo up. Now, big suplex there by Cohen Nitro. Throws Blaze back into the ring. Max with a close line to Mondo. Max with a sliding close line to Blaze didn't connect there though. Lifting him a big kick to the face of Max Stevens. Into the cover now. One, two, and a kick out at two again. Now, Max just unleashing the punches. As Mondo getting the tag because of the punch by Blaze. Max now. Max. Looking for a big senton again. On to Mondo. Looking for a splash, but a reversal by Blaze. Into the knee. Blaze lifts Max up. Now looking for a huge pile driver. Oh, double knee there, or a single knee technically by Blaze. Now, throwing Blaze into the ropes. Stevens into a super kick to Blaze. Lifting up Blaze, throws him into the corner. Taking Montana out. They're gonna look for it. This time though, with Cohen lifting him up. Into that pile driver. As Cohen isn't even finished yet. Into a famous sir. Mondo back up. Lifting up, Blaze again. They're gonna look for it one more time. And one more pile driver. Max now gonna take out Mondo one more time again. 
Stunner in between the ropes. The crowd is hyped. Max lifting up. Blaze now. He wants to end this match once and for all. Signaling now. Double underhook. DDT. One, two, three. And just like that, we have new WXPW World Tag Team Champions in the FCA. FCA, Al Walker, all champions in WXPW. What a time to be alive. You have to think that the teams like the Prestige have eyes on the new champions. But now, ladies and gentlemen, after this little ad break, we will hear from the one, Jose Carter. Well, 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 people of WXPW, the day has finally come. The one and only Jose Carter is here. If you didn't know my name by now, trust me, you're going to remember the name. You might be wondering, why is he backstage? Wouldn't he prefer to be out in the ring in front of all the fans? Oh, the answer is yes. However, there's nothing for me tonight. So, even though I want to be out there in that ring, I can't. However, on the next episode, everything changes. The next episode marks my official debut for WXPW. This isn't just another match. It's a new beginning for me and for WXPW. Now, some of you might be asking why a world champion like myself is here. The answer is quite simple. I'm here to add more gold to my collection. And I'm out here to seek out challengers who are truly worth my time. With a roster as stacked as this one, I am confident that I'll find exactly what I'm looking for. Real competition. So, WXPW Universe, get ready. Because El Señor de los Cielos is about to take flight. This is just the beginning. See you soon, folks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week, or on the next episode, my bad, Jose Carter will make his debut. But now, the WXPW TV champion, Jalen Garcia, the messenger, has an open challenge for anyone backstage. Accompanied by his manager, Toby, Jalen Garcia looks to solidify his title reign here in WXPW. For those who don't know, Jalen Garcia is currently the longest reigning champion out of anybody in WXPW. So that has to say something. Who will accept? We will find out. Bitch.
and it seems the person to accept it is Elvis Sabino, everyone's favorite wrestler. Elvis Sabino looks to make his debut here tonight in one big way. He looks to win the WXPW TV Championship off of Jalen Garcia in his debut here tonight. This match on its way right now. TV title on the line. Elvis starting off with a suplex here. Reversal by Elvis. Big knee to the face of Elvis now by Jalen. Another knee into another knee. Jalen now just going off with barrages of attacks to Elvis Sabino. Jalen now going off on Elvis. Off the ropes now, but Elvis rolls out of the way, taking the smart way out. Kick there. Elvis off the ropes. Big move there to Jalen Garcia. Elvis has him in hands. Now just plopping him on the turnbuckle there. Elvis gets back in the ring. Big knee by Jalen catching Elvis. Elvis now getting caught. Big forearm there. As Jalen going off now. Punches to the face of Elvis Sabino. Again. Jalen. And again with these kicks. Oh my god. Jalen just looks to solidify his reign as TV champion here. Now going off on the kicks in the corner again to Elvis Sabino. Off the ropes. Big kick there. Just throwing Elvis away. Elvis rolls to the outside taking the smart way out. As Jalen looking, Tope Connie, a little bit of reversal by Elvis. Kick by Jalen now though. As Jalen taunting to Elvis Sabino. Jalen gets caught with a kick there. Huge pump kick by Elvis. Off the ropes, into an elbow. Look at the fucking agility off of Elvis Sabino here tonight. Jalen with a punch. Elvis punching back. Elvis wants this win. Wants to show that he deserves to be champion in his debut. Going off on Jalen as Jalen goes off on Elvis as well. Elvis though looks to get the upper hand right here in a forearm. Elvis picking Jalen back up. Elvis now throws Jalen looking. Pele kick. As Jalen rolls to the outside. Elvis, what in the world could this big motherfucker look for? As he looks, what the hell? Into a senton, but a man Elvis's size should not be doing that. Waiting for Jalen, looking now for a huge power ball. As Jalen might be out cold. Elvis now just throws Jalen back into the ring. What is Elvis thinking? Could this be his moment to become the TV champion? Now Elvis, looking big kick to the face. Into the cover for the win. One, two, 
and a kick out at two and a half by Jalen Garcia. Elvis now, again, looking for the power bomb. Elvis is gonna win it. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. Holy shit. What a match by Elvis so far. Jalen almost losing his title. Jalen on the top. Looking for an elbow drop or a reversal. As Elvis has Jalen throwing him into the corner. And Elvis, big kick to Jalen. Big move there by Elvis, but he missed. Jalen now. Kick. And Elvis lifting up Jalen now, but a reversal again by Jalen. As now, what is he gonna look to do as Jalen? Looking for a huge knee there to the face of Elvis Sabino. Into the cover. One, two, no. Elvis has somehow kicked out at two and a half. Jalen lifting up Elvis, but a big elbow there to the midsection of Garcia. Jalen now with the elbows to Elvis. Looking for a huge DDT. As now, Jalen just dragging Elvis Sabino. Climbing to the top. Waiting for Elvis to get back up onto his goddamn feet. Double axe handle. Not finished. Jalen now. Into an elbow drop. Into the cover. And that is it. Two. Three. Holy shit. What a performance by Elvis Sabino in his debut. But Jalen Garcia retains. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jalen Garcia, I believe, has a couple of words for the crowd. See what I did there? I did what I had to do. I'm sorry, Elvis. You put up a great fight, but and still, and still, WXPW Television Champion Jalen Garcia. But I would not just be here just to have a match, entertain y'all. But I, I'm here to make a statement. I'm here to call out a special man. I am here because this man is like a teacher to me. He is my mentor. And I think me and this dude will put up a great match. And the man, the myth, the legend I am calling out is the Comeback Kid X. Yes. You see, when it comes to it, Jalen Garcia has already proved it in the WXPW arena. Now, X, I want to see you face Jalen Garcia because last time we faced, you beat me. And I beat you before that. So this is like a little trilogy. But this match is going to be more personal. You see, X, I love you, man. You like a, you know, you like a teacher to me, but... I have to show why the student is better than the teacher at times. And Jalen Garcia, the yes, sir, king, will show the comeback kid X. Why? He is your WXPW television champion. So, X, I want to see if you have the guts to step up to the yes, sir, nation, the yes, sir, movement. Are you here to step up to the man, the myth, the television champion, the messenger, Jalen Garcia. Well, it is time now for your main event match. As V-Kid, the savior of wrestling, 
accompanied by Heather Ray, will be defending his Universal Championship against the man making his way to the ring now. The technical nightmare. He is Jaden Coleman. Jaden Coleman making his official return here tonight. It has been a long time since we have seen him inside of WXPW. Will he become Universal Champion? We will find out in just matter of moments now. It has been a long time since we have heard this theme song. For, you know, technical reasons. But making their way to the ring, the kid and Heather Ray, again, like I said, a hyperdrive. Nobody wants to see this. But Heather Ray, the WXPW Women's World Champion. The kid. The WXPW Universal Champion looks to defend his title successfully again against Jaden Coleman. Who comes out on top here tonight? Deacon now, reversal by Jaden. Looking to start off this match, but another reversal by V-Kid into double knees there to Coleman. Kick by V-Kid now with the punches going on. Slams him onto the mat. Elbow by Coleman. Coleman now looks to throw V-Kid onto the ropes, but never mind a reversal here. V-Kid gonna look for the punches to the back. And a backbreaker. 
B-Kid stomping away at the head of Coleman. Looks to make fast and quick work and easy work tonight of Coleman. But Coleman now with V in the corner. Reversal by V. V can now into a roll up for the win already won. And a kick out of one by Coleman. Both men went for a maneuver, both men missed. V Kid now going for the punches to the face of Coleman. V Kid throws Jaden into the ropes, but a reversal by Coleman. V Kid now gonna look for a big drop kick for Jaden Coleman. Jaden back into the ring, drop kick by V Kid. V Kid now. Knee to the face. Looking again now for multiple elbows to Jaden Coleman and a knee to the face. Coleman sweeps the leg. Going off the... What was the point in that? As V-Kid now looking for a cross face on Coleman. And Jaden gets out fast. Coleman now drops V-Kid down. Looking for a knee, but a reversal by V-Kid. Throws Jaden into the ropes now, does V-Kid. Both men again went for the same move, but missed. Coleman into a suplex there. Trying to get some offense in this match. V-Kid going to Heather Ray. As V-Kid gets back in the ring, Heather Ray, I'm pretty sure, taking off the turnbuckle right now. Chops and punches by both V Kid and Coleman. Coleman, though, still fighting back here. V now looking for some kicks to Coleman and sweeps his leg. Now looking for a big moonsault off the turnbuckle into the cover for the win. As the ref is distracted. V-Kid now taking the turnbuckle off. Waiting for Coleman. Just stalking his prey. Chopped by V-Kid. As he throws Coleman into that corner there. As V-Kid now looking for a drop kick. As V-Kid again looking for the low blow. He's going to win again, that cocky bastard. Two, three, what? Jaden Coleman kicks out of the low blow. Holy shit. V-Kid now just laying in the knees on Coleman. Could we hopefully see a new Universal Champion here tonight? V-Kid climbs to the top. V-Kid, frog splash, but a reversal by Coleman. Reversal by V now. V-Kid looking face buster. God damn it. One, two, no. Another kick out by Coleman. Come on, man. Again, V Kid looking for these elbows once more. Climbing to the top now is V Kid. Huge frog splash into the cover. One, two, and a kick out again by Coleman at two and a half. Coleman now locked into a submission hold here by V-Kid. Will he tap? No, he won't. Reversal by V-Kid. Into another drop kick. And again looking for these elbows once more. 
V-Kid now looking for that triangle choke. Oh god, this might be it for Coleman. Not much people get out of this submission. Can he be one of them to get out of it? He is fighting with all he has. Coleman fights out of it. Yes, he does. Going V-Kid into the corner. Never mind, he gets thrown. Yeah, oh God. Come on, Coleman. V-Kid again. Face Buster. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, V-Kid retains his universal title. Huge win for V-Kid. What a try for Jaden Coleman. Unfortunately, this little bastard is still our universal champion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some title celebration. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, WXPW Friday Night Fury will be making its return after the next pay-per-view. But now, the only superstar, Rockheart Al Walker, will be having his live title celebration in front of everyone here tonight. Al defeating Karan Cook at Hyperdrive become the hardcore champion. So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what the rock heart has to say to everybody. Let's see what he has in store for everybody as the WXPW hardcore champion. And as we know, his team members, FCA, won the world tag team title just earlier today. Let's see what Al has to say. Welcome to the only Rock Superstar Rock Heart Championship Celebration. And my debut match here in WXPW, I won this Hardcore Championship. And I know, I know, to the masses who are used to Rock Heart, the Hardcore Championship is beneath my pay grade. It seems that you people are used to me winning world championships, being in the main event, yet I stand here in the main event with the hardcore championship. Nothing different. But if we're truly being honest, if we're brutally being honest, not only is the hardcore championship beneath my pay grade, but let's face it, the WXPW World Heavyweight Championship is beneath my pay grade as well. This company as a whole is beneath the only rock superstar. The talent here is lackluster. You people in the arena today are lackluster. And it begs the question, why is Rock are here? Why is he in a company that he thinks is second fiddle, who's trash, who I like to call poor at best? Why would I be in a company that I see that way? Well, I like a challenge. I'm challenging myself to take this run-of-the-mill company to the top of the industry. You see, it already has three sets of champions who are at the pinnacle of this profession. The newly crowned WXPW Tag Team Champions, FCA, the greatest tag team in the business today. I like to call them the Young Psych Boys. 
and my best friend, the savior, the kid, alongside the love of his life, Heather is the universal champion. They already have some pieces to help it grow, but now with Rockheart, it will be propelled to the stratosphere. And outside of those men, well, the rest of the roster is full of pissants. Take the World Heavyweight Champion, for instance. He is garbage, a bona fide scrub, a second-rate talent who could never share the ring with the only rock superstar. Then it gets worse. They have guys like Brandon Kirk, who I'd slap around for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, walking around here all high and mighty. Let's face it, this company needs me. This celebration is more for WXPW than it is for me. This is a wake-up call to all of you watching WXPW. It is at its peak with me and my boys running this place. As far as the hardcore championship goes, you can't call me the king of hardcore because, well, the only rock superstar is the god of hardcore. There's nothing more rock and roll than hardcore. And Karan Cook found that out the hard way when I was beating his ass with barbed wire bats, with a guitar, and everything I could get my hands on. And it'll continue and continue and continue till I demolish everyone here and show you that I am the very best in the business today. Nothing changes when Rockheart is in the business. Nothing changes when Rockheart is in your company. I come in, I demolish, I win, and I go home. It is all the same. The same rinse and repeat because I'm the very best. So now, to all you boys in the back, I have one thing to say. If you want- Oh, what the fuck? Justin Massacre, steel chair in hands. Just going off on Al Walker now. Al Walker did not expect this. Justin Massacre looking now for the knee. And it seems, ladies and gentlemen, that we might have a, uh, a contender for the hardcore title. Justin Massacre just going off on Al, hitting him with the title now. Oh my god, what a moment for Justin Massacre.